equation number 126 when calyx and corolla are not distinct then it is termed as perianth as in tulip is a member of liliaceae and in liliaceae family there is no distinction of calyx and corolla there is perianth so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question question number 127 which of the following is incorrect match actinomorphic flower dhatura it is correct bisexual flower in hibiscus or china rose it is also correct unisexual flower in maize it is also correct zygomorphic flower in chili no in chili the flower is it is actinomorphic because the flower can be divided into two equal halves by any plane so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 128 when female reproductive part occupies the highest position and other parts are situated below it the flower is called when the female reproductive part occupies the highest position it means the ovary is superior so option number one and three are ruled out and the flower is called hypogynous so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question question number 129 the estimation in which margin of one petal or sepal overlaps the margin of adjacent successive petal or sepal is it is called twisted estimation so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question Question number 130. In how many of the following plants diadolphus condition of stamen is found? Diadolphus means that all the stamens present in a flower should be present in two groups. In China rose, monoadolphus condition is seen. All the stamens are present in a single bundle. In citrus, it is polyadolphus condition. In solanum, it is the epipetalous condition means the endrosium is attached to the petals. In P, the stamens are diadolphus. They are present in two bundles. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. 